how to start working remotely as a developer. This is something that I didn't know I would enjoy so much until I started doing it. This is something that I was able to do quite a number of years ago and it actually happened without my intention. I accidentally got into working remotely. But since I did, I can't go back now. This is what I really enjoy doing. And I wanted to share with you guys how I got to working remotely as a developer, some of the benefits and some of the drawbacks, as well as how you might go about creating a ability to work remotely for yourself. Doesn't matter which job you're in. So in my background, I actually was doing this at the same time as I was switching careers. And I was working in IT at the time. And what IT meant was that I usually had to be on site to fix any problems. But at that certain point, I wanted to do my own work. I wanted to go into website development and design. And to be able to do that wasn't something I could do um, with any company per se. Being able to go into a role where I was currently doing IT and I wanted to swap to web development was really difficult simply because you didn't have many opportunities. Either you were working full time in a single role or that was it. So to be able to do that, I actually swapped my career gradually. I did this by first asking if I could work four days and then three days per week. And this gave me one to two days which were flexible in my schedule. It gave me a Thursday and a Friday where I was able to decide what to do with that time. And at that point, I didn't really have anything per se that I wanted to do. I just had those two days off. So what I started doing was looking for different bits of work I could do. And when I started doing this, I actually was able to find a company which was getting a lot of work in development and they weren't able to finish that. They didn't have enough time to hire a full-time person, but at the same time, they just wanted a couple of contract jobs finished. So this actually got me into freelancing. And because of the way this was structured, I was actually able to do that work remotely. So immediately when I started up my Thursdays and Fridays, I was doing website development remotely as a freelancer as contract jobs. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was still working in my old IT career. And when I did this, I found that I really enjoyed working remotely, especially working in development and design. And as I was building up that portfolio, as I was doing more work remotely, I was finding that I was also more productive doing all that work remotely. Remote development is one of those careers where you're able to do things, whether you're on site or not, in more or less the same fashion. It's unless you're meeting clients or collaborating in large teams where there are drawbacks. But even with things like Zoom and stuff, this gives you the opportunity to work remotely a lot easier. So what I found was as I got to a threshold where I was using the full capacity of that Thursday and Friday doing freelancing or remote work, I started asking for less and less days in my normal full time position, which was now sort of quasi part time. I got to the point where I thought I was done and I was able to fully leave that earlier full time position in IT and swap careers completely to become a full-time remote developer. Now, remote developing did come with some drawbacks. When I started out doing remote development, it was really hard managing my own time. Managing time as a remote developer means that you have to create your own schedule. You'll have one big job to do, but you'll be able to spend whatever time you want on that which means that you could do it in the morning, the evening, you could do it at midnight. It's really up to you. The end result is you finishing that project. What I enjoyed about this was that I was able to sleep in a little bit more in the mornings. I was able to have slightly larger lunch breaks. What I also enjoyed was being able to work in the evenings and essentially late into the night because I found that for me personally, that was the time that I was the most productive and I was able to get a lot more done. And that's part of the things that I really liked about remote development. It also meant that I didn't have to spend that half an hour each day going into the office and half an hour going back, paying that parking on transport, paying for fuel. All of those were now things that I was also saving money on and it was things that I was saving time on. So it meant that every single day I had an extra half an hour to myself. 
I also had a really bad habit of eating out during my lunch breaks, and this meant that I was spending more money as well on things that I could necessarily now create for myself from home and save a lot of money for as well. And usually when you're working in a full-time position, you feel obligated to utilize the whole half an hour to hour for your lunch break. And sometimes you don't need so much time. Sometimes you can eat your food in 15 minutes and you're ready to get back to work. And yet I couldn't really do that because you're obligated to take that time when you're working in a full-time position. As a remote developer, I could eat and work at the same time. I could finish up my work early and finish off the day and maybe just relax, spend some time with my son. And this was really cool. So now working remotely is really hard for me to be able to consider going back into an office and working from an office. Now, if you guys are thinking of working remotely, and if you guys are thinking of how you can go about it, there's lots of different ways. I might link some resources in the description of this video of what I recommend, but if you're planning to leave your job or something like that because you wanna start freelancing, I would definitely recommend doing it progressively, making sure that you have some work to start off with so that you can transition yourself to that. If you're planning to work remotely, you'll also have to make sure that you talk to your boss or your current company. They might not understand that working remotely might work for you and you might be more productive. So you really have to use evidence and examples of that and slowly ease them into it. Maybe just a day per week or maybe two days, depending what they're probably like. And during this situation with COVID and everything, it makes it much easier to be able to do that. Simply because a lot of businesses currently are already in that idea that they'll have to work remotely. So this is a great opportunity for you guys to be able to do that if that's something you're thinking about. Anyway, my name is Adrian and I do videos around design and development. So if you guys do like this kind of content and you wanna see more like it, hit like, hit subscribe, otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.